What's up, everybody? How is it going? Today, on this episode of Until Next Time, it is just going to be me and Alex. Hey, yo. And I think that is one of the first where we don't have Randy, which is crazy. Yeah. Isn't Randy like in every single one of the pods? He's in, he's in every episode. There hasn't been an episode without him. And that goes for me as well, where there hasn't been an Until Next Time without me. If that even makes sense. Even if, well, <laughs> even if like Randy not being in the picture, he was always in the background too, huh? Dude, look at this oh thing. Oh my god. Okay, on this episode we <laughs> <laughs> we're reviewing the cat. <laughs> we we want to review this cat, dude. This cat is so nice, but that doesn't excuse the fact that this cat is so ugly. <laughs> Anyways, um, that cat was so ugly. I had to cut. <laughs> um, crack is being sold in the desert every day of our lives. And that's a serious matter that uh, a lot of people don't really look at. I mean, have you drove through Victorville? <laughs> it looks like crack and salt there every day. But people are afraid to say it. But um, no, here, here we are. We're at, our, um, we're at our desert studio today. Go away. And we have some table. We have some table gremlins. Desert studio. The desert studio. I don't yeah. like that. We're at the desert studio, and we have some gremlins under the table, but we're making it work. Yep. Um, how you been, dude? I haven't seen you dude, in a long I time. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. You know, I just had my second baby. Thank Congrats, you. Congrats, by the way. Where's the applause? Do you do you edit applauses? Yeah, I, we actually put laugh tracks just just, <laughs> just this year, actually. So um, I'm you good. Just made it in. I've just been I've just been working hard at work. Um, Valentine's was yesterday. How no, it you? wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was weeks ago. It was weeks ago <laughs> for this video. My bad. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. How, what about you, my guy? What you been up to? Uh, I'm doing good. Um, for those who don't know, Alex has been on the pod before, and you know now we finally have him a part of the team, and he's doing his own pod. This is my second pod. Yeah. Last pro time. pro tip: don't put your fingers on on this part because it will catch it. Oh. So when you do talk, it's probably gonna catch the. Ch -ch 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 -ch. It's all right, bro. You're learning. It's okay. This is why we're running this. How do you hold it? Just like I just this? hold it like this. Sometimes I hold it like this. Sometimes when I really want to get involved, I do this. <laughs> and I, <laughs> when I have a table, I do this. Usually, I'm like I'm laid back like this. I don't know. I do the pod very different. You I know, know what? What's ever comfortable with you, just don't touch that. All right, cool. Um, anyways, well, speaking of the matter, I've been wanting to start a pod with this guy for a yeah. long fucking time. For a very long time. But because the distance the distance and it didn't even become the distance at, at one point it became the idea of what would our pod be about because you know i have until next time with randy and you know that's the pod about nothing which equals everything and then you know then i made review box where i did movies and uh video games and stuff like that and then obviously not so casual it's mma and then I talked to Alex because I was such on like this um, this tangent of like, oh, I just want to keep making podcasts. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I I hit you up and I was like, let's make a podcast. And then you're like, yeah, dude, I'm down. And then we're just like, what would it be about? And that was like <clears throat> the longest negotiation of like, what would it be about? And <laughs> honestly, I don't <laughs> I even don't know. know. Yeah, you know what it is? This is why this this is going. Look at. The guy's part of the team because what I love about the pod is that it's it's fluid, you know. If <laughs> if the pod if the pod had a sexu sexuality, <laughs> the pod would be bisexual, and there's no question about it. And that's okay. I think the issue is is that you've already made all these like categories for your podcast with certain people. Is that like it feels very how do you say it? Like closed off, right? Like, oh, let's talk about let's talk about the next UFC fight. Yeah. No, I, no, 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 no. I get no. you. Yeah. That's him and Jonathan. <sighs> that's him and Jonathan's thing. Yeah. But you know what though? That's the good thing of it, is that what if it what it's done in my eyes, I think is actually each pod has helped each other. No, the extra pods have helped until next time. Because until next time now, it's like you know, you're canceling out UFC fights. You're canceling out. Well, like we can still talk about movies, but we're not, yeah, gonna, yeah. you know, like make it the subject of the whole episode. It made it more like where it's focused on like what's kind of going on in our lives or what we think's funny or like other stuff. 
No, yeah, I get that. I, I, I don't know. Like, it ranges like that. It I, opens. Well, it's it's cool, too, because I I like it, right? I, I like the, the idea of, like, you and Jonathan having, especially with the podcast where they did it in the... Um, the, the gym. Yeah, in the gym. Yep. That was really cool. I like that. I did watch that one. Um, I don't follow the the sport, so it's, like, was kind of No, like, and, that's, and that was the thing, too, to even dive into it. I like how I'm doing like a total like backstory of the pods and like behind the scenes. For I feel like it's care. cool though. I feel like yeah. it's, it's a different like perspective, right? Because your audience is more used to like watching the pod for what it is and for yeah. that day. And this is just going over it. Yeah, kind of going yeah. over it. Um, <laughs> a synopsis, if you will. I synopsis. said that wrong. But um, no, yeah, like that was the thing. It's like, look, on the Instagram, I had not so casual a part of it and I just felt like it was so oversaturated where like if someone's following it, they're going to be like, dude, these guys talk about like everything, but I really only want to care about this. So I was like, okay, fine. Until next time in review box, stick together. That's, that's a very general audience movies. And then just life for sports. I feel like sports is such a big, like uh, topic that it deserves to be its own. So, I mean, not so casual has its own set has its own instagram has its own tiktok has its own youtube channel yeah. so i mean obviously doing that had i did we did take a blow with the views but it's good because now it's like we're starting fresh and we're only gaining audience members that care about those topics and that's good so with and your, all given it's not like any of this stuff gets like <laughs> thousands of views no, yeah, like yeah. Well, you know but it's your it's, shorts do your it's shorts very do good. it's very thought of it's it's thought of and it's thoughtful. I try to make a thoughtful pod for people who tune in and watch the first ten seconds and tune out. Well, see, because that's the thing too. Because <laughs> I, well, I noticed, I, I noticed that your your shorts do really good, um, especially some of the UFC ones. I've seen like peak like over a couple thousand or a thousand or something like that. Uh, but I had always, I always had a question for you. Yeah, what's when up? it came to like posting to TikTok, do you or do you plan on paying for like? advertisement promotion promotional okay. videos realistically realistically i was gonna pay for an advertisement on tiktok because i was like okay maybe this is a way to genuinely like push the product but tiktok told me no on several videos because <laughs> me and randy do not know how to shut our mouths and we're too dirty and we say bad uh, words and, yeah, and they, they we don't a process. yeah we don't follow the guidelines you know we're we're naughty guys <laughs> no, yeah no i i get that yeah because um it's so funny dude like i'm trying to turn to randy and he's not <laughs> and he's dead ass not here <laughs> and it's so it's so funny he's right there bro what and he's, he's totally <laughs> he's totally gonna give me shit about this and he's yeah gonna, he's, I, i'm pretty sure randy would have a, a lot of input if he was sitting in the back right now yeah. Do you guys do you guys um have an extra mic for the person that's sitting behind the camera? No, yeah, we do. When um when we don't have a guest now because the new rule is that we can only have a guest if we had three mics. We do have three mics and usually person behind the mic we call them intern and then they're the ones that yeah. will put it in. We've had some where Sinjin like You'll hear Sinjin off in screen. the background, yeah. Yeah, but it's clear. It's yeah. like crystal clear because he's using a mic. Like bros right there. Yeah. yeah Cuz I've heard, I've seen I've seen one where Quincy was in the in the background yeah. too. Yeah. He's done um, some of that as well. So that's cool. I I like how not only is the podcast like two guys right here, but it's like we get input or you guys get input from like whoever's behind the camera too. But um but yeah, the only reason why I asked about the paid advertisement thing is because I also had an incident on TikTok recently when blowing up on a video um <laughs> and uh and here's the video <clears throat> <laughs> and we're back <laughs> so that was the video yeah uh no i'm dead ass gonna put the video in there yeah i believe okay. you it's it's <laughs> it was a controversial video it wasn't meant to be taken serious um because obviously my car is not a family car it's it's really small well explain okay explain okay Say this is – get really meta with it. Okay. Say this is a TikTok explaining your TikTok. Go. So you got to explain it quickly and nicely, and then it could become a TikTok itself. I, how do I <laughs> – Explain your car, okay. and then go forward like that. So I drive, as you saw, a, a Camaro, and a two-seater mainly, right? And I have a family of four, so I have two little ones. And I put them in the back seat of the car, you know, and I made a video saying, like, oh, like – 
if this is a family car, anyone that tells you it's not, like, this is it. And I basically said, like, fuck you, grandma, at the end of it. <laughs> so many people yeah, he took t- that to heart. <laughs> he dissed his heritage, bro. His so, grandma's a nice lady, bro. That's crazy And, a crazy and it wasn't meant to be taken serious, right? Yeah. It was just like a it was just like a fun Satire, video. Joke. Yeah. So, and then I got joke. so, what was it, like 500,000 views? 500 and I still get, like, views. Um, and so many comments were just, like, so fucking mean, bro. No, okay, so at one mean. point, dude, the comments are, like, are just preying on my boy's downfall. Like, they're <laughs> they're almost sad. They're like, like, I get it. Safety first. That's a concern. But yeah. th- this guy's, he made the video for funsies. And he's not yeah. he's not drifting with the kids in the backseat. Yeah, no, but they're like, oh, just wait until something happens to you. Yeah, bud. it was a whole bunch of like, like firefighters are going to love you. And um, then one person, oh my gosh, dude. But the person who put like, I have a minivan. And well, you know, they're fun. I'm like, dude, this guy. So I, was it like you cuck. or was it someone else that said like, well, minivans have like the highest like rollover rate? It was somebody else, right? That put yeah, that. someone said that. I said, I said minivans have the highest rollover weight, and I followed with an a zero bitches rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, that, you did. And that's exactly how that played out. <laughs> yeah, so it was just like it was just really bad, and uh, a lot of people were just like, oh, certain people shouldn't be allowed to reproduce or like. um which is true, but not you. Yeah, but not you're everyone. Fine. Yeah, and which then, is very true though. Everyone's like, "Oh, you're putting, you're putting like your, um, what is it called? You're, you're putting swag over your yeah. You're putting safety. yeah. You're putting <laughs> looks. <laughs> you're putting looks over like practicality for like for my kids, right? Yeah. But it's like, all right, shoot me a down payment, you know, and shoot me a down payment for a new car then, and then I'll I'll switch over to a family car. Cause it's like, bro, like, have you seen the like, prices for cars nowadays? Yeah, like, it's actually insane. Even um, with like interest rate. I don't want to talk car talk. Yeah, let's not. And, uh, let's not get into that. Inflation. <laughs> Thanks, Biden. Yeah, let's no. not talk about politics. <laughs> but um, no, nah, like, I saw my car, and it's priced more than I bought it for, with even more mileage, Jeez. which is crazy. But at the same time, if I traded in my car, they would give me less. Yeah, especially, it, it, it's yeah. it's crazy right now. The car, the car. Mar- I'm not a car guy, but the car market I know is just not where it's at right now. Yeah. So but if you want to buy this guy a car, go for it. But you know what's funny I'll is put my um, Venmo. <laughs> I faced I faced uh not backlash like that because you know those are like children and I didn't get views like that. I got a couple thousand views. Um, have you ever seen Captain America two Winter Soldier? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know when he's like, uh, I think it's when Bucky is like hitting, uh, Captain America, or vice versa. Oh yeah, I, I he's like, oh oh, you're talking about with the, with your dog? Yeah. So I made that video, he's but like, with my dog, where it looks like I'm beating my dog, and he's saying like, "What well, I'm with you until the yeah, end." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And I've had I had so many people comment like, "Oh, like you know, I can't believe you, I can't believe there's people out here that are doing this." And then the, someone's like, that better not be real, bud. Yeah. I was like, what like, the hell? Like, what are you going to do? Come beat me up? But like, then there were people that were just like, you could clearly see that, you know. Yeah, like, like I'm scratching the dog. Yeah. But, well, the the funny part is I beat him after the video <laughs> where nobody saw. <laughs> because then that way, you know, it's like, it's up to debate. <laughs> but, yeah. But, no, I don't beat my dog. Yeah. So, okay. So, so then what's – do you have, like, a – a future plan for like where you want to take your your podcast like because i feel like you're doing good now right like you're posting consistently like um the audio has definitely cleared up <laughs> yeah the quality has definitely cleared up you you look back right and it's just like it looks well, like it, it looks like he was filming on a potato but now it's good whoa whoa, whoa. okay let me, <laughs> let me let me i'll answer i feel like i'm getting interviewed on my, for my own podcast. yeah you know but, that's uh, what it is we're interview interviewing the the creator himself. No, co-creator. The but, co-creator. Um, Sorry, Randy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No shade, no shade. Anyways, no, shade. Uh, no, no, no. But um, so we have not been posting consistently. Uh, we take a big winter break. And, you know, the reality of it is this is a hobby and we don't have a home, if that makes sense. As you can see, this is a setup because this is the desert studio. <laughs> But we don't have a home because we are in the market of building a home <laughs> for the podcast. Yeah. So that way the consistency stays even stronger. Um, I need to get the money to put into the hobby more. I mean, 
the lighting right now are thanks to Alex and I'm actually going to be able to take this lighting home and it really is going to make a difference. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the next step is to get a home for it and then stay more consistent. But I'm still going to school and then, you know, obviously yeah. a job and all, busy. all that fun stuff. But got a family. At the end of the day, though, like, this is what I really like to do on the side. Like, I, I like making the YouTube shorts because I feel like that pushes it more. I mean, I would love if there really is one person that watches this start to finish, like, yeah. straight up. Um, if you can send me the time the timestamp right now in the video because this is kind of middle of the pod if you send me the timestamp of me saying this i will sell you ten dollars because oh. then i just realized that you came this far <laughs> and you deserve ten dollars because i do comment. i count could but, i timestamp no you can't do time stamp at all. <laughs> but uh like, let's true. let's let's see if we can get some uh some outside thoughts let's see how this goes real quick oh uh, yeah let's Give us a second, everybody. Bro just has to include him, huh? I it just doesn't feel it just doesn't feel right, you know? And if he doesn't pick up, then he's fake. But if he pick if he doesn't pick up, that means he must be busy. Because he usually always he talking, always picks up. Talking to you, Randy boy. And I'm hyping you up and you're not even gonna pick up. Bro, you're like this is Wow. He's <laughs> talking about you the whole time. Oh no, oh. he picked up because he loves me. Alright, dude, you're on an episode of Until Next Time Podcast. What do you gotta say? Yep. <laughs> We're doing an ep I'm doing an episode with Alex right now. Bro's lost. Oh, bro <laughs> is broken. Bro is That's betrayal. 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 No, what okay. No, nah, dude, it's not even like that, bro. Just Yeah, it is, mate. Oh my god. Say something to yeah, the dude. Hey, 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 hey. Have a good day, dog. I hope you have an amazing day. You too, Alex. I hope you have a great time. I miss you, Randy. Uh, I miss you too, dude. I I would love to have seen you, but I didn't know about this. But you know that's how it is. I guess Nick is just in charge of it. You guys have a great day, dude. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell well, Randy. No, believe it or not, I didn't tell anybody. I was Man. just like, I just want to come up here, hang out with my boy, get yelled at by my other boy. <laughs> Did you hear the, the and until next time? <laughs> he was so confused. Whoa, whoa. But no, I've, I've told him many times that he can go ahead and we can set a pod where I'm not in it and I'm not going to be like conflicted about it. <laughs> I know he's just joking, but damn. Yeah, I did dang. throw him for a loop. I didn't expect that kind of answer. Yeah. That was crazy. Um, what are your political views? <laughs> Dude, what do you believe in? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> bro, just call me up. That's Whoa. crazy. You know what? I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. Um, I don't follow it as much. Oh yeah, he's he's closeted something right now. I don't follow it as much. Um, so I have no comment. But what I will comment on is that this podcast has been long overdue. I had. Three months off. He just <laughs> swerved, <laughs> jumping into political stuff. That just goes to show something. No, I just, I don't, what do you want me to say? Who, who do I vote for? <laughs> I, dude, no, I don't want you to say any <laughs> of that. But it's, I, I don't know. I feel like me and you personally have never talked about politics. What do you you want to do it now, bro? Let's go I ahead. mean, go I, ahead. no, there's nothing. I mean. Whoa, go whoa. Ahead, bro. Let's talk about po po um, <laughs> politics. Nah, dude. I'm just like, you know, I'm for everybody. Everybody just party. Have a good time. That's how that's how it should be. Bro. What about all lives matter or black lives matter? Um, well, I feel like it's I feel like okay, by saying all lives matter and black lives matter, like what it is, it's like, okay. Don't be a fucking idiot when you say that. And I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm not no, saying no, no, you. I'm no, not yeah, saying yeah. you. Because if someone says, "Well, all lives matter," <laughs> uh, it's like, look, guys. In a general sense, yes. Yeah. But right now, that is focusing on a community that doesn't feel like they matter, even though they've been a part of the fucking country. I don't want to go deep into it because I'm even taking a history class, so it's going like <laughs> deep into it. But it's like, yeah, that's a good answer. Don't be a dumbass and be like, "Well, I believe all lives matter," and it's like, dude, just shut up. Like, <laughs> just shut up. Like, right now, it's like it's a community focused situation. There we go. Exactly. Okay. 
So have you played uh, Paul World? Or <laughs> not oh, Paul Pal World. World. Pal Wor- Pal I thought this World? wasn't a video game. Um, pod. I'm just asking if I you did, played I did, I did. Sorry, I'm just busting your balls, but I did play Pal World. And I will, I will get on the hype train with everyone and say, like, yeah, it's a great game. But I played it for an hour. I played it for an hour, and I returned it. You know, I have the free demo on my Xbox, but I haven't played it yet. I returned it. Did you return it because you didn't like it, or was it oversaturated? I, I feel like it was too much. No, okay, so I went in expecting what to expect, but I bought it at like 2.40 in the morning. <laughs> bought it at like 2.40 in the morning. I was okay. so bored, so bored. Bought it at like 2.40 in the morning. I played an hour of it, and I was like, this seems like a big grind that I want to get into, but not at 3 o'clock in the morning. So Understandable. Because of that like mindset at the time, I returned it. But don't you have two days to return it? Uh, yeah, two hours. Oh. After. <laughs> Three, two, one. But uh, you have two hours. Uh, to if you go past the two hours, I don't think you could return it. So yeah, it has to okay. be within. So I played. And like, that's through Steam. That's through Steam, yeah. Okay. So I played like an hour. 10 hour nine maybe less um but it, i mean i don't i don't think it's a bad game i just wasn't in the mood for an open world survival game if i if i was and i'd rather just play arc yeah no i feel that I feel um, like arc is way more advanced anyways you know what's funny is that i did not know steam showed the numbers of players oh yeah like honestly when you showed me that oh, that I, blew yeah. my mind and i was like dude you got to run the numbers for this game i need to know the numbers for this game and it kind of opens your eyes on, like, you know, AAA game doesn't mean it's going to be the most popular game. Like, it's it's if it's, you know, fun. Like, mm-hmm. you go in there, one or two things. If it's new or if it's just fun. Like, yeah. Very, very simple. Don't like, want to, like, dwell on that too long. I mean, I think this is a controversial topic about the game. Um, but I think the reason why I got, like, the biggest hype is because... <clears throat> game freaks the like the creators of pokemon yeah have been doing so bad i personally think they've been doing so bad with their like pokemon games recently just like frame rate stories like the same tutorials like three hours long and like this other company that made power world is just like oh hey like here's an open world survival game that's like pokemon I don't even know if I could say that. Yeah, I, I, don't even know I, I if get I could you. Compare the game allegedly. Allegedly. No, I get right? what you're saying though. In the but sense. uh, but yeah, so it's like that game. That game only had a ten thousand dollar budget, and it did better than a triple A studio. That's yes. A lot, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'll go ahead and defend uh, <laughs> Game Freak, even though you know I have no I affiliation with them. I'm. I'm not. No, saying I know. I'm I understand. I love them. I still play them. So yes, the frames is lame. Is it does suck? But you know what though. Pokemon did take a risk going from, like, Sword and Shield and doing Arceus. Arceus yeah. was the step in the right direction. And it's like, you know, then they did um, Scarlet and Violet, mm-hmm. and it, and it kind of kind of backtracked. It didn't, like, hang on to what Arceus did. Yeah. Even though, like, Arceus was, like, a different game, not on the mainline story, I guess you would say. But it's like, you know, I feel like, it's been so repetitive for so long. It's like going into a Pokemon game, you know what you're going to expect. Yeah. And I feel like in a sense, it's almost like, um, it's almost like cell phones. Like if I grab a Pokemon game now and I keep getting it every year, I'm not going to feel a difference. But if I get a Pokemon game and then I don't fucking get one for like three years, you're going to yeah, see the difference. Yeah, you'll feel it. But it's like, who wants to do that? You want to play Pokemon consistently. It's, yeah. it's awesome. But, um, yeah, that's the issue. I, I don't think Game Freak takes enough risk to actually like make it feel different per se. See, and you know what? I feel like it's not just Game Freaks, right? I feel like it's every like AAA company like that comes out with games yearly. Ubisoft did it with Assassin's Creed. Call of Duty does it. Like they don't. I don't. What do you they, mean, dude? Huh? Call of Duty's great every year. <laughs> In and out. No. But, like, that's the thing, right? Like, I feel like AAA games, they just want to push out a game and then just force microtransactions on you. Every game yes. now has a battle pass. Every game now has, like, cosmetics. I'm all for cosmetics. Okay, cosmetics, yes. Okay, but 
now answer this question. Do you think we're in a point of time where we need battle passes for the game to continue to survive? To be able to, like, I guess, I don't know how the game industry really works in the inside yeah, yeah. of that, but, like, to be able to continue to press content rather than one time buys. Like, would you rather, would you go to back to one time buys? Okay, so, so I don't mind the content, I don't mind battle passes. Right, but if you're pulling out a game every year, that's when I mind. Like if you okay, if you're gonna make a game, if you're gonna try to milk a game with battle passes and cosmetics, at least let the get games lifespan have long longevity. Yeah, like at least give it long, three long years, it. two years, whatever. Like okay. look at Fortnite, right? Like that game pushes out content all the fucking time. Yeah, there's no Fortnite two, Fortnite three. You know what I'm True. saying? And you know what? They're fair. I guess it's so. Then it's Call of Duty's the problem. Yeah. Because it's like you buy the base game and then basically, you know, that base game is going to expire within a year, which was funny because they did Modern Warfare 2 to 3 right back to back. And I f believe it was one of the first times they grabbed all the guns from the second game. If you unlock them, you can yeah. have them in the third game, even with all the camos, which is a cool concept. But it's still kind of like so it's like, is this even a third game or is this just like a, a an update a dlc a 70 dollar DLC. dlc like and that's what people called it yeah that's what people yeah, were calling it i feel like certain games it depends like but you got to understand it's like well look at call of duty now you can go ahead and play call of duty never buy a battle pass and you still get the enjoyment of getting to play all the new maps every season yeah you don't have to you know what i mean and you still get free guns like so that's fair. I feel like a good example of a game that just keeps continuing is Siege. Siege just keeps yeah. it going, brother. Sie Siege has like progressively gotten so much better from yeah. launch. Yeah, and it's like year seven. Like, and yeah. they have roadmaps every year. And, and that's the thing, right? That's the difference between AAA games is that like there's people that do it right and take their time and build the content over years and, and stick with it. And then there's the games that are like Call of Duty was just like – well, they're not going to like this one, so we'll get it we'll get it next year. <laughs> yeah. No, no, totally. <laughs> um, but games that I am looking forward to. Grand Theft Auto 6. Grand Theft Auto 6. A company Six. that does it right? A company a, a rock star that does it right but take to an active that takes too much away. Because of Take Two and Active, the parent company of Rockstar, we are not getting Bully Two, and we are not getting a Grand Theft Auto Four remaster, and that is honestly devastating. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> when I honestly <laughs> devastating. Go, go. Away. But anyways, I feel like GTA Six is uh, talk for next time. Well, we could dive into it another time. But yeah, yeah. This has been a very special episode of an Until Next Time, which still featured Randy, by the way. Yeah, even though he wanted to leave. Any, any, any like, whoo, about to have a stroke. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a handful of. You it. know what, Randy? I expected more, brother. Oh, dogs! You better watch yourself. <laughs> no, I expected more, bro. The Randy fan, like fan base is gonna get you. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, and like always. Until next time. Later.